Hello and welcome to week 15 of NFL predictions. My name is Seidel and I will be predicting each game this week who wins and who loses. I think we have a lot of great games this week, so let's just get into it, starting with the 4 and 9 Los Angeles Chargers going up against the 7 and 6 Las Vegas Raiders. The Chargers are coming off of a close win over the Falcons 20 to 17, and the Raiders are, are coming off of a loss from the Colts 44 to 27. And while I'm not liking this Raiders defense a whole lot this year, especially with them allowing 30 points and almost 400 yards per game, I just don't trust this Chargers offense enough. They're only putting up 22 points, almost 400 yards uh, on average a game, however, but they're just not being able to put it in the end zone. And especially with them being shut out against the Patriots only a couple weeks ago, and their defense let up 45 points in that game, I think this is a game the Chargers could win. I do think it's going to be a close one, but I'm going to go with the Raiders 27-24 over the Chargers. Now we have the 10-3 Buffalo Bills going up against the 5-8 Denver Broncos. The Bills are, are coming off of handing the Steelers their second loss of the season, 26-15, which doesn't make a, a three-game win streak for them. Broncos also coming off of a win over the Panthers, 32-27. And I am liking the Bills' offense the past few weeks, putting up 28 points a game. Josh Allen's having a phenomenal season this year, 28 touchdowns, 9 interceptions, 3,600 yards passing on the year. And their defense has also gotten better the past few weeks. They've looked really solid, only allowing 15 points from, Steel from the Steelers, like I said, last week. And on the other hand, the Broncos' uh, offense has struggled quite a bit this season, only putting up 19 points, 343 yards a game. Their defense has been pretty solid throughout the year. They have struggled a little bit the past few weeks. I think the Bills are going to win this one 27-20 over the Broncos. And now we have the 4-9 Carolina Panthers going up against the 10-3 Green Bay Packers. Panthers coming off of a loss from the Broncos, 32-27. Packers coming off of a win, a three-game win streak, and a win over the Lions, 31-24. Packers' offense has been explosive this year, averaging 31 points, over 400 yards a game, and Aaron Rodgers having a phenomenal season, 39 touchdowns, four interceptions, almost 3,700 yards passing, and their defense has also been solid, only allowing 24 points, 352 yards a game. Panthers' defense has been pretty similar, only allowing 25 points, 374 yards a game. Their defense, I just don't think, is going to be able to keep up with the Packers. I'm going to say Packers win 30-23 to over the Panthers. And now we have the 4-8-1 Philadelphia Eagles going up against the 7-6 Arizona Cardinals. Eagles coming off of an upset win over the Saints, 24-21. to Cardinals also coming off of a win over the Giants, 26-7, to which snaps a three-game losing streak for them. And Kyler Murray's had a great season so far with 23 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, 3,200 yards passing. Their offense has also been great overall with 27 points uh, on average and almost 400 yards a game. Their defense has also been solid, only allowing 23 points, 365 yards a game. The Eagles' offense has struggled a little bit this season, especially Carson, with, Carson Wentz with 16 touchdowns, 15 interceptions, and 2,600 yards passing. Uh, their offense has 21 points on average a game this year. Their defense has, has actually been solid, though, only allowing 25 points, 369 yards a game. I do think the, I do think the Cardinals are going to win this one 28-21 over the Eagles. And now we have the 8-5 Tampa Bay Buccaneers facing the 4-9 Atlanta Falcons. Buccaneers coming off of a win over the Vikings, 26-14. Falcons coming off of a loss from the Chargers, 20-17. And I do think the Falcons' defense has gotten better the past few weeks. Can't say, can't say the same for their offense, especially with Matt Ryan throwing three interceptions in their loss against the Chargers. Buccaneers' offense, however, has been really good this season, averaging 28 points, 366 yards. And Tom Brady with 30 touchdowns, only 11 interceptions, 3,500 yards passing. Their defense has also been good, only allowing 22 points, 353 yards a game. I do, think, I do think the Buccaneers are going to take this one 31-24 over the Falcons. And now we have the 5-8 San Francisco 49ers going up against these 4-9 Dallas Cowboys. 49ers coming off of a loss from Washington 23-15. Cowboys, however, coming off of a big win over the Bengals 30-7. And I do think both offenses have struggled this season with both of them averaging 23 points. Cowboys averaging just a few more yards, however. And their defense has struggled a lot more this season, allowing 31 points, 388 yards a game. And the 49ers defense, however, has been really solid this season, only allowing 23 points, 327 yards a game. And, I, and while the Cowboys defense did step it up a lot last week against the Bengals, I don't think it's going to carry over in, in, into this week. I'm going to say they win. I, think, I do think it's going to be a really close game. But I'm going to go with the 49ers 21-20 to over the Cowboys. And now we have the 5-8 Detroit Lions going up against the 9-4 Tennessee Titans. 
Lions coming off of a close loss from the Packers, 31 to 24. Titans coming off of a win over the Jaguars, 31 to 10. And I do think that the Titans offense has been great this season, averaging 30 points over 400 yards a game. And Ryan Tannehill having a great season, 28 touchdowns, 5 interceptions, 3,200 yards passing. On the other hand, for the Lions, Matthew Stafford with 22 touchdowns, 9 interceptions, 3,500 yards passing. While their, de- while their offense has been decent this season, their, their defense has really held them back, allowing 30 points over 400 yards a game. I do think the Titans are going to take this one 30-25. to 25. I think it's going to be a somewhat close one, but I'm going to go with the Titans. And now we have the 4-9 and nine Houston Texans going up against the 9-4 and four Indianapolis Colts. Texans coming off of a big loss from the Bears, 36-7. to seven. And the Colts coming off of a win over the Raiders, 44-27. to 27. And they only they did play only a couple weeks ago with the Colts winning 26-20 to 20 in a close one. And their offense has been phenomenal this season, 28 points and 384 yards a game. And their defense has been even better with 23 points, 341 yards allowed on average per game. And while I do like the Texans' offense, they've definitely struggled a lot this a lot the past couple weeks. Uh, I think the Colts win again this week, 28-23 over the Texans. Now we have the six and seven New England Patriots going up against the eight and five Miami Dolphins. Patriots coming off of a big loss from the Rams, 24 to three. Dolphins also coming off of a loss from the Chiefs, 33 to 27. While I do think the Patriots' offense has struggled this season, they have shown glimpses, but I do like the Dolphins' defense a lot more, however, with them allowing only allowing 18 points, 384 yards on average a game. I'm going to go with the defense. I'm going to go with the Dolphins' defense on this one, 24 to 18 over the Patriots. And now we have the six and seven Chicago Bears going up against the six and seven Minnesota Vikings. Bears getting their first win in a while and a big one at that, winning 36 to seven over the ten over the over the Texans. Vikings coming off of a loss from the Buccaneers, 26 to 14. I do think the Vikings' defense has struggled this season, allowing 27 points, 385 yards a, a, a game. And the Bears' offense has also struggled with only 21 points, 340 yards on average a game. I do think they continue this win, uh, this coming off of this win. I'm going to say the Bears win 24 to 20 over the Vikings in the upset. Now we have the nine and four Seattle Seahawks going uh, going up against six and seven Washington. Seahawks are, are coming off of a big win over the Jets, 40 to three. Washington's also coming off of a win over the 49ers, 23 to 15, which is a four-game win streak for them. And their defense has been great this season, only allowing 21 points, 334 yards a game. The Seahawks, the Seahawks offense, however, has been better, only averaging 30 points and over 407 yards on average a game. And while Washington is on a four-game win streak, I don't think they're going to be able to. Hand, or I don't think they're going to be able to stop the Seahawks offense. I'm gonna go Seahawks 32 to 22 over Washington. Now we have the one and 12 Jacksonville Jaguars going up against eight and five Baltimore Ravens. Jaguars coming off of a big loss from the Titans, 31 to 10. Ravens are, are coming off of a crazy win over the Browns, 47 to 42. And the Ravens' offense has kind of been on and off this season, but they, they have been great statistically, averaging 28 points, 355 yards a game. Jaguars' offense, however, averaging 20 points and 352 yards a game. Not much to say here. I'm gonna go Jet or I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Ravens, 29 to 17 over the Jaguars. And now we have the 0-13 New York Jets going up against the 9-4 Los Angeles Rams. Jets coming off of a big loss from the Seahawks, 40-3. Rams coming off of a big win over the Patriots, 24-3. And I do think the Rams have been really consistent on both sides of the ball this year, especially on the defense, only, are only allowing 19 points and 307 yards a game. Their offense has also been solid, uh, only la- or averaging 25 points, almost 400 yards on average a game. So I, again, I don't think there's a whole lot to say here. I'm gonna go Rams 28 to 14 over the Jets. And now we have the 12 and one Kansas City Chiefs going up against the 10 and three New Orleans Saints. Chiefs coming off of a big win over the Dolphins, 33 to 27, and the Saints coming off of a close loss from the Eagles, 24 to 21, which does snap a nine-game win streak for them. While I do think the Chiefs have had probably the best offense in the league, averaging 31 points, 439 yards a game. And Patrick Mahomes with 33 touchdowns, only five interceptions, and over 4,200 yards passing. Uh, but the the Saint, I do like the Saints' defense a lot, though, averaging 20 points, 350 15 yards allowed on average per game. And their offense has also been fantastic, averaging 28 points, 382 yards uh, on average a game. 
Uh, I do think it's, it's going to be a really close one. I think the Chiefs are going to win 28-26. I think if Drew Brees was in this one, I think it's going to be a difference. I think it would have been a different story. But I'm going to go with the Chiefs 28-26. Now we have the 9-4 Cleveland Browns going up against the 5-8 New York Giants. Browns come off of a crazy loss from the Ravens, 47-42 in a shootout. Giants also come off of a loss from the Cardinals, 26-7. I do think the Browns have shown themselves to be a playoff caliber team. The Giants, however, have struggled a lot, especially on offense, only averaging 18 points, 319 yards a game. I think the Browns pick it back up after the loss. I think they win in double digits, 34-23 to over the Giants. And now we have the 11-2 Pittsburgh Steelers going up against the 2-10-1 Cincinnati Bengals. Steelers coming off of back-to-back -back losses and a loss from Buffalo, 26-15. to And the Bengals are, are coming off of a big loss from Dallas, 30-7. to And the Steelers' offense has definitely struggled the past couple weeks. I, did, I think they pick it back up against the Bengals, though, and I think they win by double digits 27 to 17 over the Bengals. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to post your predictions in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Uh, but thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.